Don't mind my hair. This is a really good drink if you are feeling sick or anything like that. On a normal basis, I'll just have lemon and apple cider vinegar. It helps my digestion a lot. It helps with weight loss. It's really good for you in general. If you are feeling a little run down, try to find it. Try to find it. So if you're running, if you're a little sick or anything, you can add a couple sprinkles of cayenne pepper and turmeric together in this drink and you're not gonna want to sip on it for long you want to guzzle it because it doesn't taste very good but uh, it helps a lot so i usually have this in the morning before i eat anything um i don't use it all the time but this definitely also helps my um I, a while ago i had fungal acne on my like chin area i'll insert a video because i I was looking through my footage and I was like, oh my god, like my skin used to be really bad and it's pretty smooth now. So this definitely helped and um, absolutely right here on my face. So I'm going to drink this and then I'm going to make my breakfast, which usually is some sort of a protein and a carb. Um, I have been recently using egg free eggs with some oatmeal. Or, I don't know if I should do my other meal, which is eggs and zucchini with peppers and onions and stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see how I feel after this. <laughs> but, yeah, stay tuned and see what I make for breakfast. Real? Oh, gosh. Ooh. Is this girls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So uh, I just finished my apple cider vinegar drink. It's never my favorite thing in the morning. I'll tell you that. I love kombucha. It just it doesn't taste the same as kombucha. Okay. But it's really good for you. Definitely recommend it. Um, if you have digestion problems or acne or you want to lose um, weight or anything like that, definitely helps a lot. So, I read that you're supposed to wait like 30 minutes before you eat. I'll wait like 20-ish. Um, so, I'm going to do the dishwasher for my family. Um, but yeah, usually I'll do something before I make breakfast, and I also decided what I want to make. So I'll show you what I'm going to make for breakfast in about 20 minutes. This outfit, though, is great. And I also lost the, the like, tie thing, so I literally have to, like, tie it with a hair tie. of what I mentioned before. I'm going to do scrambled eggs with some peppers or some sort in it and a little bit of oatmeal for my carb. So I'm going to put my oatmeal on while my eggs are kind of cooking since the oatmeal takes a little bit longer. I'm going to do a third cup of oatmeal and a little bit less than a cup of water.
doesn't matter. So I put the peppers in with my eggs and then I'm going to fry that with some butter and I'm going to put some green onions on top and then my oatmeal is almost done. Eggs, they have um, salt, pepper, and a little bit of hot sauce. This is our favorite hot sauce at the moment. It's from our local farmer's market, um, but it's a probiotic hot sauce, and it's uh, the green one, so these are super good. For my oatmeal, I just put a lot of cinnamon on top, chia seeds, and some honey. And this honey. And that is my breakfast. Hello. I just got back from surfing and it was actually pretty fun. I'm gonna take my vitamins because I didn't take them this morning. So I took my probiotic this morning and then I take vitamin D3, vitamin B, like a complex of vitamin B, vitamin C, and then quercetin. Sometimes I take oregano. I take vitamin A drops. And I also take zinc as well really really good for you it's pretty much the vitamins i take in the morning i didn't take them this morning but i'm taking them now it's 11 o'clock this is the probiotic i take as well and then i might have a little snack a little bit just because i like to eat every three hours just because it it just helps me like my blood sugar levels and stuff like i don't drop and then get really high and then drops again just kind of stay steady so yeah. I'm just gonna guzzle some water because I didn't drink that much this morning because I didn't want to be like all sloshy. Kind of snacking on my mom's coconut flour pancakes. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> In the middle of taking my vitamins. For my like snack, I'm gonna have a protein shake. It's gonna be with like almond milk and some frozen like strawberries or berries or something whatever we have in the fridge honestly but this is my favorite it's the tropica one this is the first one i've tried so i like it i like this because it's vanilla and it can go with like a lot of different things but i want to try chocolate soon but yeah we're gonna use this i use two big tablespoons and then i blend it in here i also wanted to mention that the protein that this is made out of like the protein powder is pea protein, sprouted brown rice, pumpkin seed protein, and maca, which I think has protein. Now, So for lunch today, I wanted to do something a little different, so I cooked up some chickpeas, made some quinoa, and some fried zucchini, and some peppers and onions. Okay, it's currently 1.30, got let the cat out. It's currently 1.30 and I'm about to eat my lunch, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat. Ooh. So, I decided to make something a little different. Um, today because I usually have like a meatball and salad or like soup or meatballs or something I don't know I want it more variety so I made garbanzo beans some zucchini and pepper saute and um, quinoa and some meatballs as well for protein and I'm so excited it looks so good so I got my quinoa in there so good oh my gosh and they're like crispy too it's like the best part <laughs> i usually mix it up this day i'm off of work so it looks a little different when i'm going to work it's kind of more like just like easier not super it'll take an hour to make usually when i'm home i like to cook something really yummy and i don't know cooking is just really fun for me so i like to have fun with like what we have in the fridge and in our garden too, because all of the squashes from our garden.
much I did a little bit of stretching to loosen up my muscles because I did a workout yesterday and I was really sore in my hips and surfing made it a little worse. This is something I used to make like all the time, like quinoa garbanzo bean thing. But I haven't been making that recently, so I'm really excited to make it again. And this is the hummus I'm gonna use. It's a garlic, ooh, wait, which one's better? Cause we have like the tomato basil. I'll just use the garlic. This is garlic um, hummus from our farmer's market as well. Put a little of that on the side. I feel like cooking really healthy foods for your body is the best way to get as many nutrients in your body and to build your like muscle or whatever you're trying to build. Um, it's the best, best thing for your body. Food definitely heals. I'm gonna eat this and then I'll catch up with you guys a little later. I might do a workout at like four and then I'll show you what we're having for dinner. We're gonna have tacos and I'm gonna make salsa because we have a lot of cilantro I need to use in the garden so before it goes bad. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. tacos and my salsa also he'll make our taco like tortillas <laughs> you're gonna need cassava flour salt olive oil and water right yeah that's pretty much it i'll have the recipe on the screen Cassava tortillas with chicken, roasted peppers and onions, and then we made homemade pico de gallo. And I just added a little bit of this uh, hot sauce to it as well. After dinner, I usually have tea. Uh, tonight I had lemon balm with some honey.
and that was pretty much it for the night after my tea i went to sleep thank you so much for watching just remember you are beautiful